YouTube today we are answering the question what is that button or switch or other thing that I don't know what it is what is it for see a lot of people posting questions on Facebook hey I found this switch here or see this here what does this do why is this here we're gonna try to tackle all those today name that switch I see people post all the time they found some switch maybe up under here somewhere more than likely it's down there somewhere on the floor it may be a momentary switch which is a push button that when you let go of it it's no longer connected as opposed to a switch that you toggle and it stays on until you toggle it off so basically there's probably two very likely answers to what that switch would be. Number one, a lot of police cars have some sort of protection that allows you to leave them running and not have somebody just jump in, shift out of park and drive away. And so uh, there may be some, and on your vehicle it's probably been disabled. So you may have the switch remaining and it's not wired to anything but at one time it was probably wired in a way to basically make the car think that the brake was not being pressed and so it wouldn't shift out of park. The other possibility that it could be is police cars a lot of times are equipped with a switch that will turn off the brake lights and so because those two switches would be wired through your brake system that's why I say it could be possibly one or of those options if you're finding a switch down here and it may look like it was at one time hooked up to your brakes. And that's another reason why if your brake lights are not working, you may need to get under there and see they may not have reconnected the brake switch properly. So, as you know, when these are police cars, they cut the brake switch and they wire in that setup that I was just talking about. So that's probably what your switch is if you've got some weird momentary or toggle switch under your dash or under your floor mat. There is one other possibility for a foot operated switch that I didn't talk about and that is some police cars have a hidden gun rack release so that in an emergency instead of the officer having to grab a key and unlock a gun he could toggle a switch with his foot and pull out the shotgun or rifle. The fuel pump shutoff switch is basically designed if the car senses any sort of impact to shut off to hopefully prevent fire. So if your car doesn't start uh, and you've bumped into something or maybe hit a speed bump really hard or something, just trigger that. That's right behind here. Just press the button on the top, you don't even have to pull this out of there. Pull this carpet back. Right there is a high capacity 12 volt power source ready to go. So, a lot of people that install stuff, you're going to put an amp or subwoofer system over here and it's already ready to go. What's behind here? Well, on the older models, there used to be a gas cap pop button there and perhaps I've never seen one but perhaps some of them also had a trunk popper there. Now the interesting thing is when you pull this panel off there's actually a wire harness there that appears to be trunk popper uh, based on accessory power so theoretically you could buy a momentary switch put it in here and have a secondary trunk popper there that's uh, only works with key power. If you've ever pulled this trim piece off, you'll notice that there's two wire harnesses here that are connected to nothing. Those are actually wires for adjustable pedals and traction control in the higher trim models. Now whether or not they would actually work on the Crown Vic, I've never tried, but I suppose theoretically if you bought all the other hardware and switches you could it, it 
those wires should be hooked up on the opposite end, but I'm not going to guarantee that. And what's that piece there? I see that asked all the time. Why is there a grill opening there? Well, not on your P71 or P7B, but on the higher trim models that have automatic temperature controls, there's going to be a temperature sensor there. And uh, I guess Ford in there trying to keep costs down made all of these pieces the same regardless of the trim model. And behind there, there's going to be two sets of wires. One that's for accessory power and one that's for full-time power and so you can switch. You see I have mine set to key power so the trunk doesn't pop without the key on. Uh, that gives you a little better security in the sense that if someone broke into your car they can't just pop the trunk very easily although obviously anybody can figure out ways around stuff but uh, you can if you're somebody that prefers it to be able to pop the trunk all the time, obviously you just switch those wires there. Why does my blinker flash faster on one side than the other? Now this is the proper flashing cadence for these. But if you have one that's blinking faster than the other one, most likely it's because there are actually two bulbs in here and one is burned out and once one burns out, is kind of a way to tell you it blinks faster. The other possibility is if you've used an LED bulb when you have a standard flasher then it may be messing up your flashing cadence but like I said most likely if it's not blinking right it's because you have a bulb out and an LED so even though it's burning bright, it doesn't trigger the flasher to flash. But then when you hook up a regular bulb, 